On the 25th of February 2020, the governor of Nairobi signed a deal at State House Nairobi that transferred some county functions to the national government. At the time, it was agreed that the functions of health, planning and development, transport, public works and auxiliary functions would be overseen by the Cabinet Secretary for Devolution, Eugene Wamalwa. The deal became effective on the 15th of March, 21 days from the date of execution, and will remain in force until six months to the general election. The deed that the governor of Nairobi signed further states that Nairobi County Government will fund the transferred functions. However, all revenue collection from the county will be conducted by the national government through the Kenya Revenue Authority. So let's have a quick look at the numbers. This graph shows you revenue generated by Nairobi County. In the financial year of 2017-2018, Nairobi generated 10.12 billion shillings. In the financial year of 2018-2019, Nairobi generated 10.25 billion shillings and in the financial year of 2019-2020, Nairobi generated 3.11 billion shillings. This graph now shows you the equitable share of revenue raised nationally. On the 18th of March, three days after the deed came into effect, President Kenyatta created the Nairobi Metropolitan Services and appointed Major General Badi to head it. This means that the NMS becomes the recipient of the monies for the transferred functions. On Tuesday, the 2nd of April 2020, the National County Assembly passed the Supplementary Appropriations Bill to align it with the transferred functions. This resulted in an allocation of 15 billion shillings to the NMS. MA. This bill was passed despite objections of Governor Sonko. Sonko says that he rejected the bill and sent a memorandum to the Assembly, but these concerns were ignored. Additionally, Sonko has been rejecting Treasury's orders to submit crucial documents relating to the four transferred functions. On their part, the national government says that Sonko's refusal to comply contravenes the PFM Act 2012. On the other hand, Sonko insists that the deed of transfer is not being properly executed. He wants the deed reversed. Article 11 of the deed signed between Sonko and the national government addresses what happens in the event of a dispute. It states, quote, in the event of a dispute between the parties herein arising from a matter provided for, governed by, or arising out of this agreement, the parties shall at the first instance endeavor to resolve the dispute amicably through negotiations, but if the dispute is not resolved amicably within 30 days from the date one party notifies the other of the dispute, in writing, then the parties shall refer the dispute to the National and County Government's Coordinating Summit. End quote. Technically, Sonko should not be moving to court, but he is.